right then. Over there you've got Stockland Wood that I explored a lot last year. You've got the pretty mineries over there in a garage. I've just come along there and crossed some fields from Pretty. I'm now up here in this beautiful area where lots and lots of sheep are about to give birth. And if I was, say, to come up here in a month's time, there'd be lots and lots and lots of lambs. But I've got a lot to do uh, this time of year. During no cow time, I have to go out and do all the areas that I'd love to be able to do in the summer. So they have to be done um, before the end of April, uh, you know, possibly before the end of April. So I've got like six weeks to get some beautiful walks, but because they're cow ridden in the summer, and not just one or two cows, I'm talking about massive herds and bull. It is clearing a bit now, but you can't see the pretty barrow m mumps, the burial mounds, you can't see them. But this is Somerset everyone, with their beautiful walls. I'm doing um, England in the time of Richard III at the moment and we're discussing um, open field systems and, and the enclosure movement which uh, wasn't good for a lot of the peasants when the Lords of the Manor started parceling up the land. And it's a lovely day. I'm glad I climbed up that hill. I didn't video that bit. <laughs> oh, lovely sheepies. Where I'm leading now, I'm going across a couple fields and I'm aiming for Durston Drove, it's called. And um, that would take me down to near Ebber Gorge, the one side of Ebber Gorge, which I want to explore, which once again usually has cows and it's I haven't been able to do it for that reason. So I'm hoping to be able to do that today. This is a full day. This could be an eight hour walk, by the way, because I don't rush, as you can see, or here. Um, there's no way I can do that. And my do doctor suggested the other day, I start jogging again to lose two stone. And it is possible. But um, I like walking. I'd rather go and have a walk this day and age. I think that must be just as good for me. It's only a, a minor setback with my breathing. It's, it's, it's due to the winter being stuck in. We've had terrible weather. Lots and lots of grey sky, winds and rain. I mean, I wouldn't have wanted to be up here in a storm. For example. So I'm just giving you a bit of an idea of this route I'm taking and what happens after I've gone, to, I'm not on the drove yet, it'll be coming up in a minute. I'll join up with the West Mendip Way which comes from the other side of Pretty over there and that also goes through Ebber Gorge to Wells where the West Mendip Way I think it ends at Wells and then it becomes the East Mendip Wells uh, East Mendip Way but for now right I don't know I, I wasn't very good at holding this the other day I've got a stick today as well um, I noticed it was quite jumpy it's a good camera but I, I'm not very good at holding it still, but it's because I'm walking cross country, you've got to remember. It's very bumpy. Well, I'm going to turn off for a little while now because I'm not at the drove yet. There's at least another one or two fields like this to cross. 
which, as you, as I've said, are cow ridden in the summer. So, over and out for now.